My name is Alan Blackman. I'm currently a Chelan County Deputy Prosecutor. So my name is Roberto Castro. I'm an attorney. So my name is Kyle Mott. I'm 32 years old and I'm running for Chelan County District Court Judge. District Court is what's called a Court of Limited Jurisdiction. So that means that the cases that they hear are typically misdemeanor cases, gross misdemeanor cases. Civil cases where the matter in controversy is $100,000 or less. As well as criminal offenses that are below felony level. For instance, DUI cases, uh, alternatively some assault cases. Traffic infractions and, and such things, name changes. You can go to the District Court to have your name changed. And I've been a prosecutor in my 22nd year right now, and 16 of those years are in district court. So that is an, an awful lot, I guess, to put it that kindly, uh, of experience. I've handled over 10,000 cases, probably many more than that, plus I don't know how many probation violations and fraction hearings. So all the types of cases that predominantly we're going to have in district court, I've already heard. Uh, so I've got a very, uh, large breadth of knowledge and experience in that so that I can listen to each individual uh, person who comes before the court and listen to those circumstances uh, to fashion whatever uh, type of sentence might be. So I have 30 years of experience. I have a, uh, a law degree from Cornell Law School. I have a master's in tax. I also have an MBA. I also do expert litigation work, so with the means, which means effectively that I do damages calculation and I assist other attorneys that may have uh, issues involving quantifying the damages for a person who has a personal injury or wrongful death, alternatively evaluation of a business. So you know my my uh, ability is to uh, I can I understand the quantification of damages cases and uh, have a fair amount of experience recognizing what is legitimate and what is not. My past two years I've been doing criminal law exclusively in district court. So I believe I've seen just about everything that comes up there in one, one shape or another. Uh, being on the defense side of things I think gives me a unique perspective in terms of I'm representing a person that's accused of a crime uh, that requires me to talk to the witnesses, a lot of times talk to uh, victims of the crime to see what they might feel about the case as we work towards a resolution. And um, a lot of that, I think it gives me that perspective because you know I have those conversations that are difficult with clients on a daily basis. I can't sugarcoat their situations for them. I have to, it's my job to tell them how this is probably gonna end up and what their best uh, course of action might be while they retain the choice to, to either follow that advice or not. First off, common sense, I suppose. What is the, the nature of the offense and the circumstances and just kind of use your common sense and in, in trying to fashion something. I'd also be mindful of, again, the plea agreements that have done between the parties because the defense and the state uh, negotiate behind the judge's scene um, an awful lot. And we try, as a prosecutor and the defense, we try to fashion a particular uh, agreement between uh, us for that particular defendant, knowing the background and the criminal history and things like that. I would also want to make sure that each defendant has a right to be heard. It's very important in order for somebody to buy into the criminal justice system or even the civil matters for that, uh, for that matter, uh, that they be heard by the judge so they get a chance to voice their own opinions on whatever they might be. The most important thing in district court is that's effectively a people's court. Uh, you know, obviously the judge has a significant role and discretion in what happens, especially in criminal cases. But also in civil cases, there is a fair amount of direction that the court can give. So, you know, my, my view is that the court should uh, bring out the best of the attorneys that are practicing there and provide a lot more guidance. And, uh, you know, for instance, one thing that I'd like to see if I was a judge is I would like to have a lot more information for individuals to have um, civil matters. And that would be, again, uh, information for them as to what is a pleading, how do you initiate it, how do you engage the sheriff, uh, what is the process that happens hereafter. That way it sets the expectations and then the judge can assist, you know, providing a little bit more guidance to those individuals that want to represent themselves. A lot of the people that end up there, but not all, uh, are have some sort of social issue or, um, you know, perhaps it's uh, poverty, it could be mental health, addiction, those sort of things. And these people are there because they're accused of a, a small crime. And a lot of times, those social afflictions they might be suffering from 
are a factor in that commission. I don't think that we can punish our way out of out of those kind of situations. Well, granted, punishment is appropriate in, in, in instances, many instances, but I think at first a person should, they should, the court in doing justice should be trying to assist that person, uh, holding them accountable, but getting them the, the, whether it be services or support that they need to, to live a productive and uh, successful life and hopefully not end up in that position again. Thank <laughs> you.